Okay, we're at Cheney's Dairy Barn in Bowling Green, Kentucky. I don't know if it's open. Uh, there's nobody here and there's like a, some cones out, but I guess, hey, we'll find out. I know they got chocolate milk, so I, I gotta get it one way or another. Breaking and entering is, uh, I guess, an option. I guess that answers that. They are closed, but allegedly there's a drive-through window open around the side, so that's probably what the cones were directing towards, so we will drive through and pick up a bunch of chocolate milk. Now I gotta get some ice too. Yeah, apparently the drive throughs closed as well. That is a f***ing bummer. Um, okay, well, here's the deal. Uh, apparently, you know, everything was a go on the website when I had checked just a couple days ago before we are coming down here from Chicago. Uh, but 20 hours ago, there was a Facebook post that they are closing indefinitely because a staff member got COVID-19. They are just temporarily closed due to that as of just recently. So really unfortunate timing. But this was a new one that I was hoping to get. Uh, really kind of bummed that I can't. Obviously, we're going to go into town in Bowling Green to see if, if any of the stores are selling their brand of chocolate milk. Anyway, I guess we'll press on. So hey, doesn't always work out. Lunch meat. I know it's a thing, but it's not my favorite phrase. So no dice at the actual dairy barn, but they had it here at the Crossroads IGA in Bowling Green. So pretty excited to see that. I'm glad they distribute to other retailers in town for situations like this when they're closed due to COVID and they're still pumping it out. I'm looking forward to trying it. All right, so how's the Cheney's? So this is exactly what you'd expect chocolate milk to taste like, but in a good way. It's got that medium cocoa flavor, but it is very chocolatey. It's also very sweet and rather girthy. Uh, the, the heft to it, I think a lot of people will like. I mean, most people seem to like a thicker chocolate milk than, than I do. I mean, I don't, I don't dislike that, but I think that's a feature that a lot of people seek out. Uh, and this will deliver on it. But yeah, this is really good stuff. Again, it doesn't take really any chances, but what's there is very good and definitely above average. Well above average even for whole chocolate milk. And just a note on the Jersey, it's, it's Jersey cows. I mean, I've had a lot of Jersey chocolate milk uh, over the years, and sometimes you can get that flavor. There's a certain flavor. I mean, obviously, a, they have a higher butter fat percentage than other cow breeds, but um, sometimes it's associated with almost a, um, uh, a slight sweetness to the cream, which I can sometimes pick up, sometimes not. In this case, I don't. I wouldn't necessarily pin this as being Jersey, um, but I'm sure it is. And I also think Jerseys are the cutest cows. Aww. So I, yeah, I'm biased as far as that goes, but yep, that's good stuff. Okay. I am finally at JD Country Milk in Russellville. <clears throat> I am finally at JD Country Milk in Russellville, Kentucky. And what a gorgeous spot this is. Uh, I did have this stuff years ago in Nashville was the first time I had it. I had it again in Evansville, Indiana, uh, because once you have it, you will seek it out again to have it in the future. That's delicious. Uh, but I figured it was only a matter of time before I came to the actual farm. I was just in there speaking with Jeanette and Willis. You won't find nicer people. They've got an amazing little business here and the chocolate milk is absolutely heavenly. Uh, it's one of those ones that right away it has that uh, that non-homogenous creamy soul to it and it's got a nice malty salty snap to the flavor. Uh, it's very unique, unbelievably delicious. Velvety creaminess is what comes to mind. They don't do a lot of other flavored milks. They do an, an orange cream milk, I think, in October, and that's it. They're keeping it a narrow focus, but boy, is this stuff ever good. This is an absolute 10. Woo! Uh, you won't find better chocolate milk in this area, and they service actually quite a large little radius all the way to Paducah uh, in Memphis, 
uh, out west and up into Louisville, Nashville, uh, Owensboro. So some major metro areas that, that, that you can get their products. You got a really nice little self-service shop in there. Beautiful day on the farm out here. Uh, they got a nice, even a guard dog, uh, Linda, over there doing her job. She greeted me when I first showed up and I got the paw print to, to prove it. Got about 40 cows. Uh, they got, uh, it's just a, a great little spot. Unbelievable chocolate milk. I can't say enough about the people here. If you're ever in the area, stop in at uh, JD Country Milk and you won't be sorry you didn't. Pick up some of their chocolate milk and whatever other dairy products they produce. Uh, this, is, this is top of the line stuff. Put my reputation on it and I have no problems doing that. So cheers to you, keep up the great work. We're gonna go to the park and have uh, have lunch and maybe I'll I'll try it then and give my opinion for and I'll edit this out because who, who gives a shit really. It's not every day you find world-class chocolate milk on the ground in a driveway, but when you're kind of absent-minded and you're stupid and you're overcome with it and you spilled on your hand and you just want to get in and wipe off your hand, sometimes you forget it in the driveway. And I can't believe I did that. I got about Half a mile down the road, I'm like, oh my god, I just left it. I left it there like a freaking idiot. And uh, you know, the intellectual part of me wants to say, hey, that's one of those things that you're probably better off not sharing with people. Um, but you know, what, what, what do I got to hide? You know by now.